What's up, guys? Another Bible study, Bible reading, Colossians 4. Masters, grant to your slaves justice and fairness, knowing that you too have a master in heaven. Now, I like to touch on this every time this word comes up slaves, because slavery back then is far different from the slavery we know today, like the slavery that happened in America. Basically, back then it was more like a, more like a military contract. You would sign up with someone, I mean, and, and they would provide for you, pay you, and, and house you, and you would have to do whatever they need. It's, kind of like the military today so so when I look at these verses I, I basically consider it like we, we all have not all of us but the majority of us have a boss or like a manager at a job and I would consider it like that so let me read again masters like managers <laughs> grant to your slaves and workers justice and fairness knowing that you too have a master in heaven. Devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in it, keeping alert in prayer. Not just praying with your mind wandering and half asleep. You focus when you're talking to God. Like talk to God. Don't just use vain repetition. Devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in it with an attitude of thanksgiving. So important that we thank God every day. Praying at the same time for us as well, that God will open to us a door for the word, so that we may speak forth the mystery of Christ, for which I have also been imprisoned. So I believe I believe Paul's uh in prison when this was written. That I may make it clear in the way I ought to speak. He said pray for him. That he may have an open door for the word and be able to make it clear to the people. Conduct yourselves with wisdom toward outsiders. Making the most of the opportunity. Let your speech always be with grace, as though seasoned with salt, so that you will know how you should respond to each person. And I've talked about this before, but grace, that doesn't always just mean mercy. I mean, think about let your speech always be with grace, so that you will know with mercy and so that you know how to respond to each person grace is more than that and I I suggest you watch a video by the YouTube channel Christian Truthers called uh, I think it's called the power of grace but grace is more than that it's like the it's the Holy Spirit in a way it's like uh, the power of God to be able to overcome sin and to be able to do His will, His works. Let your speech always be with grace, as they're seasoned with salt, so that you will know how you should respond to each person. As to all my affairs, Tychicus, our beloved brother and faithful servant and fellow bondservant in the Lord, will bring you information. For I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know about our circumstances, and that he may encourage your hearts. And with him, Onesimus, our faithful and beloved brother, who is one of your number, they will inform you about the whole situation here. With Paul, with his imprisonment and everything. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, send you his greetings. And also Barnabas' cousin, Mark. 
Now, I'm not sure if that's the mark from the Gospel of Mark or not. I don't think so, but I'm, there may be. About whom you received instructions. And if he comes to you, welcome him. And also Jesus, who is called Justice. These are the only fellow workers for the kingdom of God who are from the circumcision. Sorry, I got distracted. My screen froze. Just for no reason. And they have been proved and they have proved to be an, an encouragement to me. Epaphras, who is one of your number, a bond slave of Jesus Christ, sends you his greetings. Always laboring earnestly for you in his prayers, that you may stand perfect and fully assured at the will of God. For I testify to him that he has a deep concern for you, and for those who are in Laodicea and Heriopolis, Luke, the beloved physician, see Luke was a doctor, sends you his greetings, and also Demas. Greet the brethren, greet the brethren who are in Laodicea, and also Nympha and the church that is in her house. When this letter is read among you, have it also read in the church of the Laodiceans. And you, for your part, read my letter that is coming from Laodicea. See, there's some letters that went back and forth with Paul and the churches that we don't have. But he wanted them to read each other's letters that, that he's sending back and forth between the different congregations in the different cities so they will be able to under, understand more and support each other say to Archippus take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord that you may fulfill it I Paul write this greeting with my own hand remember my imprisonment grace be with you Grace, more than just mercy be with you. The power of God to do His will and overcome sin. And do His works. And that's the end of uh, Colossians 4, the end of the letter to the Colossians. May God bless you guys.